Bitcoin successfully completing its halving big time, all while maintaining support above 60,000 US dollars? Do the Moon Boys have a second chance at massive population unlike anything we've ever seen? Or are the baby bears plotting and scheming even biglier than ever before? Right now, we're continuing to witness an eternal struggle, baby bull versus baby bear. But what if I told you that what has just happened right alongside the having isn't just big, it's extremely big. So if you understand that it's always pumpiest before the dumpiest, and believe me, it's about to get pretty pumpy. <laughs> Hit that like, hit that subscribe, get signed up to Femex or BingX below if you want to buy Bitcoin or altcoins. Without any further ado, let's completely and utterly dump into this video where, first of all, congratulations to everybody. If you're watching this video, one, you're alive, and two, you're alive to witness and have experienced the Bitcoin halving last night. <laughs> wow, let's get a round of applause. This is gigantic, honestly. It's it's, it happens once every four years. This is honestly a beautiful thing. It is not something that you can expect. Everything's about to go crazy, you know, in five minutes from now. And just like we couldn't expect it to go crazy five minutes before it happened, right? It's relatively calm, but it truly is one of the main driving factors of Bitcoin bull runs. At least historically, it has been a massive, massive uh, catalyst to the biggest busts that we've ever seen. And when I say a bust, I mean a massive bust to the upside, massive explosion, massive gainers. Now, start of this video, right? I've been talking about this possibility of Bitcoin continuing this trend, which currently is a downtrend. We actually see this bearish cross we got a few days ago, the 21 day moving average going below the 50 day moving average. But I want to show you something here, right? I want to talk in this video a little bit about what a bullish scenario would look like and more importantly what we would need to do to kind of reverse this trend of the last few weeks which is a downtrend short term we're in a downtrend mid and long term we're in an uptrend we're in a bull market i've been saying the same thing for weeks and weeks i just want to clarify that short term bearish medium term and long term extremely bullish <laughs> i i can barely contain how bullish i am in fact now, what would have to really change for me to, sw to switch to hit all three boxes? Right now, I'm, as I just said, medium and long-term bullish. But how can we check that third box and be short-term bullish as well? Well, that's what I want to show you, actually. I want to talk about in this video. So one of the first things is that, again, we see this bearish cross. Is it always a very bad signal? As I said in the last video, usually these crosses actually happen after most of the downside is already put in. And in fact, if we simply go back to the last time we had this exact cross, it was back in January of 2024, that quite honestly was the bottom of that trend, right? We got a bearish cross right here on January 23rd. Bitcoin was $43,000, um, or sorry, it was, it was actually 41500 then like two days later or like the day of or something, it dropped all the way a little bit below 40 down to about 38,600. But ultimately, look at this. This right here was the bottom of this pullback that started back on about January 10th, January 11th. And that was exactly when we got the bearish cross. So this bearish cross actually marked the bottom, not the beginning of a massive downtrend. But if you remember back here, a lot of people were saying this was the beginning of a massive downtrend, but really it was just the bottom the short-term bottom and then we went from as i said thirty-eight thousand all the way up to those new all-time highs ultimately above seventy thousand. so it ended up being extremely bullish so all i'm saying here is that um absolutely if we don't get some bullish signals soon this could absolutely can continue to be a, a downtrend however this could also have marked the absolute bottom before continuing up. And actually, we look on the daily chart, so nothing like complex, the sim like the simplest, um, the simplest price action for Bitcoin. Right now, we're actually seeing the MACD have a little uh, tick upwards for the first time since failing back about April 9th. So about uh, almost two weeks ago, failing to really confirm a reversal in the short term. We're also seeing the RSI put in another attempt at trying to do the same thing, trying to flip to more bullish momentum. Uh, and ultimately, if we have bottomed, it, it's right around 60K. As I've been saying, I don't think that's the most likely scenario, 
Um, but it's absolutely possible we have bottomed at 60K. Now, what would have to happen, in my opinion, for that to actually be confirmed? Well, one, very obvious, we wanna get above the 50-day moving average and the 21, which currently both sit right around 67,000 US dollars. So with this very time, as I'm recording this video, actually, we're having a little move to the upside. Uh, I personally, right, if you're looking at these charts, I'm waiting for one big price uh, before I get excited, and that's Bitcoin getting above 67,000. That could happen by today. It's not that far away. At the time of recording, that is a couple of percent. So that's absolutely realistic. For, for me to get bullish in the short term also to match me being bullish in the medium and long term, I want to get weekly close, or sorry, that also, but daily close above 67,000. Absolutely, though, weekly close. Um, actually, if we could flip even this weekly close to be, yeah, yeah, that's awesome, actually. If we get a weekly close above 67 also in the next about 24, 30, uh, 36 hours, 67 would also be a very bullish close. So really, uh, a price that I'm looking for to flip bullish short term and say, hey, the bottom actually might be in and we're about to move higher. Bitcoin needs a close above 67,000 US dollars. I don't know how to make it more clear or more black and white than that. 67 is massive. Um, so Bitcoin is up a little bit today. But again, we, we, we are going to have the stock market open this upcoming week, which is going to be very important, I think, driving the price. You can see on the daily chart for the SPX, we've been in a downtrend since March. The, about a month now we've been in a downtrend in the stock market. Uh, the weekly chart of the same thing, you can see it's been, this will be our third, or we did have three weekly uh, red candles for the SPX. And um, yeah, so uh, Bollinger Bands, again, they've started to contract actually again because we're back within this kind of trading range. And we've basically, again, there has been no significant breakdown. If you look at this chart on the daily, there has not been a significant breakdown. So that actually gives people some, it gives us some hope that maybe we can actually be done with this short-term correction sooner and we might not have to go as low. If, I mean, honestly, all of these day, daily closes are not that bad. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight daily closes. We had about eight days where we could have had a ma massive breakdown any of those eight days. And every single one of those closes was not that bad, right? So, I mean, we even had wicks that kind of came right down to a little under 60, but they had strong closes, each one of those for over a week. So that's promising if you want to be bullish in the short term. It absolutely is not all doom and gloom. We absolutely, as I've been talking about, we absolutely could continue for the next few weeks and come down to this, uh, even the mid to low 50,000s. But one, as I've always been saying, I think it would be so short that, you know, you could take a nap and wake up and you could have missed the entire dump. I don't think we're going to like trade there very long, as I've been saying. Uh, and that's why I specifically have been saying I'm also not shorting this because it's, it's so risky, I think, that even if we get a big dump, I think it will get bought up really fast. So for me, a short trade to like any of this was never in the picture. I never thought it was worth the risk. And I've said that from the beginning, but I still think we still could get that. Um, but as I just said, over the last few days, what has happened is that Bitcoin has defended this level that it needs to defend. And it has done that. So that's really promising. You know, every day that goes by, every day that this is actually more and more confirmed, that gives more short-term strength, or sorry, more short-term um, uh, confidence to be speculating on this actually reversing a little quicker. So uh, I, again, you look at this chart, let me put out exactly where like 60, 60,000 is. It's right about, right about here-ish. This is right about 60. We've not had a single daily close below 60,000. And so that's a good indication. Obviously, we have been putting in lower lows and lower highs. Uh, we break above, again, 67,000. Then we actually start putting in higher highs. More importantly, we get above the daily and the daily two key daily 21 and 50 day moving averages, which is extremely big. Um, and also, it's very important on the weekly chart because that would turn this weekly candle green. And if that happens within the next 36 hours, I don't know. I personally, we would need a pretty big pump, I guess, in the next 36 hours for that to happen. So it's absolutely not guaranteed. But, you know, at the time of recording, Bitcoin need to pump another like $2,200. So, I mean, what percent would that even be? Um, so, like a 3% pump, 
three percent pump is absolutely not unheard of absolutely reasonable um in fact i'm looking at altcoins right now a lot of these alts are up between four to eight percent some even um yeah some even more than that of course it's the meme coins that are up more than more than everything else but um yeah overall uh bitcoin having occurred absolutely beautiful and the price action on the midterm or mid medium term long term still looking amazing but now there are signs showing that actually even on the short term things are looking a little exciting they're looking a little good on uh, a little good which is something that a couple of days ago didn't were not was not the case because we were on the verge of a of an actual breakdown and so far we have defended that for eight straight daily candles so that's pretty good and get signed up with femix or bingx below if you want to buy bitcoin or altcoins and without any further ado